In this video, we'll go through the process of adding regular user authentication to your app by adding sign up and sign in pages and making the required changes to make these pages function. This is my newly created app. Currently, it only has one page, the home page, which only shows this nice image of an open lock. To require the user to sign in to be able to view this page, let us first add a page for user sign up. I'll name the page Sign Up and then choose the User Sign Up template. This template is pre configured with a form that has the required fields and also a pre configured visual coding script to handle the user sign up. Basically, all I have to do is save the page and I'm done with the sign up page. However, we should take a look at the form and see how it's configured. As you can see, the form has been configured with three fields one for username, password, and repeating the password. That's fine for now, so I'll go ahead and leave it as is. If I open the action for this form to edit the visual coding script, I can see that the script first validates the values in the fields, then uses the cloud auth create coding block to create a user in the Akuro user service. Finally, the script uses the page load block to load the home page. As the script is already configured, we can simply close these windows and go ahead and add a new page, the user sign-in page. This time, I'll name the page sign-in and choose the sign-in page template. This page is very similar to the previous one and also has a form with a pre-configured action. So let's just go ahead and save the page and leave it as is. Now we'll add yet another page, the page where the user can choose to sign up or sign in. I'll name this page Welcome and choose the blank template. Let's begin by adding a button named Sign Up and configure the button to load the sign up page. If you're unsure about anything I'm doing right now, make sure you've watched our introductory videos on things like visual coding to know how some of the more basic blocks work. As usual, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll try and link the appropriate videos below. Now we'll copy and paste the button and configure it for the sign in action. And when I'm done, I'll just go ahead and save the page. Our final task before we're done is to modify the script on the master page. Currently, this script is configured to load the home page once the master page has been successfully loaded. In this case, we would instead like it to verify if the user is signed in and only load the home page if they are indeed signed in. If they're not signed in, we would then like to load the welcome page where the user can choose to create an account. I'll do this by modifying the script just like this. When done, I'll save the master page and should be able to test it out in our app. As you can see, the in-app preview window now reloads. If I click the sign up button, enter my email and password, then click the sign up button again when I'm done, a user has now been created and I'm signed into my app. I can now jump over to the Akuro app manager and have a look at our cloud services. If I go to App Users, click on my app, I should now be able to see that we have one user in the user service database. From here, I can manage the settings of the user, change or reset their password, etc. But let's jump back into the App Studio and make one final touch change to our app. When the user is signed in, we can make it possible for the user to also sign back out of the app. To do this, I'll go to the home page and add a button. I'll set the text of the button to sign out and then edit the visual coding script for its click event. To sign out the user, I can use the cloud auth logout coding block. Then I'll just use a page load block to reload the welcome page when they sign out. If I try this out now in my app, I should be able to sign out and then sign in again. In the less than five minutes this video has been running, we've successfully integrated a complete user management system with user sign up and sign in 
and also sign out. In the next video, we'll have a look at expanding this functionality with more properties for your users. Why don't you join me there?